gosh, it makes me so mad when they're trying to screw people that bad. y'all thanks for tuning back into chicanic up everybody's having a great week now this is a ranting video and i know you didn't come here to hear a woman rant but i promise you when you get done you will be happy you did because i'm going to save you some time money and frustration in the future but before we jump into today's video if you're a fan of saving time money and frustration while fixing your own small engine equipment while watching in-depth tutorials you've come to the right place because that's what i do i upload a couple times a week and if that sounds interesting hit that like button smash that subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell and please leave a comment. I love to read through the comments and I'll reply to all the other commenters. So it's Saturday night. I decide I would like some delicious smoked meats tomorrow, but realize I'm out of hickory chips. So Ron and I take a trip down to the local home improvement store, Lowe's, and as he's in the barbecue section, I decide I'm gonna take a gander over in the lawn and garden department. Now, I don't ever have to go to the lawn and garden department at Lowe's because I own a lawnmower repair shop and I get things at cost, so. There's really no need for me to ever go there, but I like to check their prices once a year or so just to see if I'm comparable and make sure that I'm always cheaper than them. And let's just say I was a little shocked. Now, although John Deere riding tractors and zero turns are sold in this town, there is not a service dealer in this town at all. So where do people bring their machines when they need to be repaired? Me. If they have to have any warranty work, they gotta drive two towns over. Now, I'm not a John Deere dealer, so I can't get John Deere parts at cost, but what I do get is a lot of aftermarket parts that you know are the most common things that get changed out. I get very high quality aftermarket spindles, blades, belts, pulleys, etc. But when it comes to actual John Deere parts, I have to order it from a John Deere dealer just like you would. The thing about it is though, John Deere doesn't make all of their mower. The engines are always made by somebody else, whether it be Briggs, Kawasaki, or Kohler. Their transmissions are made by somebody else, whether it be Hydro Gear, Tough Torque, or General Transmission. So when it comes to getting some of those other parts for the mower, when you go to look it up at the John Deere website, it only gives you John Deere part numbers. So when you go to search for it online, you find that John Deere part, you buy it, you don't know the difference. That's the part that it calls for. But the fact is, if you need to get a certain part for your engine and you buy it under the John Deere part number, you're gonna pay sometimes double to triple the price of what it is from the actual manufacturer of the engine itself. So while I'm at Lowe's this evening and I'm looking over these prices and I'm shocked, I'd like to show y'all just some of the price differences for the exact same parts. Hold up. So just a little disclaimer before I get into this. If you are still in your warranty period, you still probably want to use OEM parts because it might void your warranty. Now, if you're out of warranty, listen to this. So I got some pictures here to share with y'all and I'm going to start out with the oil filters. As you can see here, we've got not the easy change oil filter for the John Deere. If you got that, I'm sorry. It's just expensive. It, I, I hate to have to tell a customer, yeah, I'm sorry, but your oil change just cost you, you know, 70 bucks on your riding lawn mower, but that's the way it rolls. Now this oil filter next to it though, that's $19.98 is the exact same oil filter as the Briggs and Stratton one you see over there for $12.98. Also the same exact filter that goes on the Kawasaki for $15.98. They all thread on the same. They're exactly the same size, everything. Now the Kohler one that you see there ends in a part number of an 02. There's another one that ends in an 01 and it's actually a little shorter than that one, but both of them thread on the same and in the bind you can use that one if you have to. But as you can see, all three of these oil filters are cheaper than the John Deere because it's in the John Deere box and they all will work for whatever engine is actually on the tractor. And by the way, mine are only 10 bucks at my shop. Now this one blew my mind. The fuel filters that they sell there, they have the John Deere fuel filter that is $17.98. Now, I have seen a lot of mowers in my time and we've went through thousands of fuel filters and I can tell you that I'm pretty positive there's not much of a difference from that $18 fuel filter to that one right next to it that's $10 to the one I sell at my shop that is $4.99. Now let's talk air filters. So you can see this one right here, it is $23.98. 
if you buy it in the Briggs. Don't mind this one that's in the wrong section right here, but the one behind it, you can see it is $13.98. That's crazy. Or check out this one right here, the suitcase shaped one. It's $23.98, but if you buy it in the Briggs brand, it's only $15.17. I don't know, I can't see that. And one more just for good measure. As you can see, it's pretty much the same across the board. You got this air filter right here. It is $35.98. You buy it in the Briggs. It is only $29.98. But before we continue with me telling you all the ways they're trying to screw you at the big box stores, I got a sponsor for this video and I want to tell you about it. Today's sponsor is Skull Bliss. Now, I'm not going to try to sell you meals in a box or virtual private networks or ear pods, but I've been wanting one of these for a long time and I got a feeling that you might too. This thing's pretty awesome. Check it out. It's so big, it's not even fitting in the camera. I'm sorry, but look at how beautiful it is. And check out what it does. It's a light two. Wow. That is a real longhorn skull, artistically carved and made beautiful. Check that thing out. So let me tell you a little bit about this awesome company. At Skull Bliss, ethical sourcing and sustainability are their top priority. It's an ultimate sign of respect of life to a beautiful creature not to waste it. They turn these would-be waste products into detailed artworks a process that pays respect to the life of the beautiful creature. Before the skulls can be transformed into this stunning decor, they undergo rigorous sterilization using the same process as taxidermists. They clean everything and prepare the bones to be smooth, bright, and finished for a lifetime. Once the skulls have been thoroughly cleaned and dried, they're ready for the artistry to begin. Each skull is carefully studied before hand drawing the intricate design on the skull. Every carving tells its own particular story and the sketching of the skull acts as a blueprint. These craftsmen will spend up to three days intricately carving each skull by hand, which means no two skull carvings will ever be exactly the same. Once complete, they offer a range of finishing touches with range of colors as well as premium finishings and metallic or mosaic skulls. So if you would like to get your own awesome Longhorn Skull, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below. Also, they are having a Skull Mania sale right now where you can get up to 50% off. And if you use the promo code Chickhanic, you can get another $50 off. All right, let's get back into it. Now you know if you need a part for your engine, go directly to buying parts from the manufacturer of your engine and not the John Deere. I know everybody thinks I'm gonna get in trouble for saying this, I'm just telling the truth. But the same thing goes for transmissions. If you need any kind of transmission parts, a lot of times people wanna get seals, always find out who made the transmission itself. And that way, if you get the part number from the actual manufacturer, I promise you it's gonna be cheaper than the John Deere part number. Now, when it comes to belts and blades, belts are a tricky one. You're going to not necessarily have to buy OEM, but you're gonna to wanna to buy a good grade of belt because there are some cheap ones out there that are not Kevlar coated and they look like rubber and they're going to destroy themselves in a couple mows. Stay away from those. Don't go too cheap on belts or you're gonna just keep replacing them and it's gonna cost you the same as a quality belt in the long run anyways. Blades are a different story though. Blades that you buy here usually all come from the United States and there's only a few manufacturers that actually make the blades. And they're pretty much all the same, even though some of them might be painted red, some of them might be painted yellow to go on the John Deere's, or orange to go on the Husqvarna's. They're the same blade, just painted different colors. So stay away from the ones that have the OEM box on the outside because it really doesn't matter. The quality is pretty much the same. So thanks again for tuning into Chicanic and listening to my little rant there, but gosh, it makes me so mad when they're trying to screw people that bad. I've known that they were doing this all along, but now you do, and hopefully it'll save you some time, money, and frustration in the future. If you haven't found us on Facebook yet, find us at facebook.com slash Chicanic, find us at Instagram at the Real Chicanic, or find us at Chicanic.com where you get your own t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks, and have a great day.